Our first lesson this week is on writing a ratio. And a ratio is simply a way to compare two numbers that have the same unit or the same label. So that will be important. In our next lesson, we'll talk about rates, which is a way to compare with different units. So if I said the ratio of dogs to cats in a pet store is two to one, this colon is said as two. So two to one means that there are two dogs for every one cat in the pet store. So for instance, if I had four dogs, then I know I must have two cats in order for them to be in the two to one ratio. There are other ways to write a ratio. So a colon is one way. Another way is to actually write it in words, two to one, or of course, as a fraction, two over one. We're going to use this way quite a bit, uh, obviously because we've been dealing quite a bit with fractions anyway, and so we already know what to do to add, subtract, multiply, etc. Um, and it also helps that ratios can be reduced in the same way that we reduce fractions. So if I said the ratio of dogs to cats was four to two, then you could reduce that to to one by dividing each value by two. We're going to do a little bit of practice on writing ratios. And to write a ratio, we'll first write it as is, and then we will simplify it if we are able. So there are 16 online math classes and six residential or on-campus classes this term at Bellevue University. To write a ratio of online math classes to residential math classes, I would simply put the online students or sorry, the online classes over the residential classes, because notice that's the order they gave them to me in, online to residential. So 16 to six, obviously I could have written this 16 to six like this, or 16 to six. Now I'm going to reduce this because I want it in lowest terms, and it looks like both of these are even, so I'll divide by two on top and on bottom, which would give me eight to three, or eight to three, etc. Now if we're writing the ratio of residential to online, notice now they've switched the order. So residential to online would be six to 16. We would still reduce the same way. Now it's three to eight. So before it was eight to three, now it's three to eight, same idea. If we're writing a ratio of online math classes to total math classes, there are 16 online classes. How many total classes? 16 plus six, which is 22 classes. So that's the total classes. Again, we will reduce just as we normally would. I will divide by two to get eight and divide by two to get 11. And it makes sense that that uh, denominator would be 11, since if I added eight and three, that would give me 11 total classes in lowest form. Try this one on your own, then press play to see how you did. In this situation, we have 24 people in an online class. 15 of those 24 are male. And our first question asks us to write the ratio of male students to total math students. Uh, we're assuming total math students in this class. So 15 male to the total of 24. And of course, we will reduce to lowest terms. So I would divide by three to get five and divide by three to get eight. So five eighths would be the ratio of male to total. For the next one, it asks us to write the ratio of female students to male students. If there are 24 total and 15 are male, I will assume that nine are female. And if that is the case, female students to male students would be nine to 15, female to male. Reducing by three would give me three to five. And the ratio of female to total I can do the math, of course, I can do nine over 24 and reduce to three over eight. Or I could have looked at the fact that there were five over eight that were male, which means the remaining three over eight should be those female math students.